traditional country house hotel. We're not trying to be anything else. We're not trying to be quirky or over the top or lavish. We just take traditional values of both the wedding and service well and deliver that. And then it's up to the bride and groom to put their personality onto it. A lot of brides and grooms come to me, you know, a year, two years in advance even. Um, and we always sort of have an initial conversation at the beginning of what they're trying to achieve. And we do all of it. Yeah, we've got various function rooms that we can do various sizes. A couple of weeks ago I did one for 18. Um, today's 120 and in September I'm doing one for four. We plan the function sheets so everyone knows what's happening on what day. The food and beverage team are setting up the tables, you know, getting the cutlery and the glassware ready. Um, also the kitchen, obviously ordering the food, prepping the food, and also getting everything ready in that respect. Uh, housekeeping, making sure that their, their girls are monitored and what's happening on what floor, who's looking after the VIP room, such as the bride's room, and that little extra touch that might be needed there. I always sort of try and get a time of arrival for the bride and groom or the bride if she's coming on her own so we can have a nice greeting at the door um, and then we showcase really what's happening and, and then talk through that evening with them as well. So it's a nice welcome as they come through. I tend to check them in in their bedroom as well to give that little bit extra service and, and always welcome them with a nice glass of Prosecco as well. The nice thing about the library is that it's far away from the hustle and bustle of the hotel. Uh, the bride, the bridesmaids, bride's mum, um, groom's mum, etc. Just renting the room to have a nice little buffet rather than sitting on the edge of a bed makes it a little bit more homely, makes it a little bit more relaxed in a nice way to sort of start the celebrations really. This morning the groom came with um, his groom's and ushers. We used the room in here, the library, to, for them to get dressed. We also served a little bit of light breakfast. So there's never an encounter that there could be uh, an encounter of, of bride and groom meeting each other before the ceremony. So that's why we use that. But also it gives a lot of space and be able to just relax as well in the nice comfy armchairs prior to the, the ceremony itself. I think with Doxford outside the grounds as well, we lend itself beautifully for capturing exquisite photographs, very intimate, but also lots of space for um, group shots as well. Uh, and it can feel very personal almost like Lord and Lady of the Manor. All the portering team and the food and beverage team all come together to help relay the restaurant um, and we restrict it bare of all the furniture and relay it with wedding furniture. Um, it is a military task, everyone sort of has their own little job to do. Flowers start arriving, cake starts arriving, uh, bouquets arrive and then I go and check to make sure everything's okay and then obviously welcome the registrar later as well. The kitchen's quite good setup wise for, you know, it's quite a long hot plate, which means we can get a lot of dishes out at a time. The operations team do a great plan per table and how we're going to tackle that. Uh, today being a choice menu, um, we know the choices in advance. Yeah, and we can generally do a banquet quite comfortably, um, like a wedding style banquet for about an hour and a half. So it can always lend in with the timings. What makes me happy is seeing the bride and groom or, or any event really happy in themselves on the day uh, and also on the day after um, catching up with them and making sure that they're okay and that full process all the way out the door.